list that has the integer of num, where num is the actual line in the file name. And then you add the clause that the integer value of num should be less than the bound you're giving. Um, question. Yes. I have the exact same code and it gives empty string, empty list back. No, oh, I had seen the problem. <laughs> really? Yeah. What did you do? It's about the file. Because. <laughs> She just called with uh, three hundred uh, instead of three hundred thousand. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so problem solved. Uh, let's skim quickly through the last part. So a few methods for useful for operating with strings. So we assume S is always a string. So capitalize lower and upper are methods that return a copy of the string with the first letter capitalized all letters uppercase or all letters lowercase. So they do case conversion. Remember that a character is just a string of length one. So these also work for characters. Split splits the string at every occurrence of the substring T. So imagine you have a string that contains a comma separated list of numbers, then you can split at the comma. And well, an example might be easier. So I assume I have this. So my string is comma separated list of numbers. And I split at the occurrence of the substring comma. And then I get a list of substrings that are separated by separator. If the separator is omitted, so it's not, it splits on white space. So since there is no white space there, we get no split. And if the delimiter is backslash, how can? Because otherwise, how do I close the brackets? Does well, when you put like quotes, you you open the quotes, you put like the delimiter which is backslash, and you if you want to close the the quotes, it will not. So you want you want to put backslash yes. here, but this would escape yes. the last. Okay. Yeah. Backslash, backslash. Oh, yeah. So backslash escapes this yeah, yeah, yeah. following character, whatever it is. And okay. so the second backslash is inactivated yeah, yeah, by the first yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Thank you. Can you also put a regular expressions there in the split? No. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is a regular expression module much. in Python, and that one can do as a split function that works with regular expression. This is the. Um, String based split and it all fully works with substrings. Excuse me. Yes. Specific, specific like question. I have like a string, a line which has words and one number. Yes. I need just to get the number from this yes. string. Yes. Uh, so either you use regular expressions, which we will cover tomorrow, yeah. or you, if you know that, say, the number is always the fourth word in the line, okay. you can do something like this. Uh, 
um, A, B, C, and then a number, then you split, you get a list, and you know that number is that. Yeah. So you just Printer. take the fourth element. Cool. But this only works, of course, if you know that. Yeah. Redefine structure. Yes. Yeah. And last two things, useful, starts with, ends with. These return a boolean, true or false, whether the substring, the string S starts with string T or ends with some string T. See the example. Um, who starts with M? <coughs> yes. And ends with F? No. More operations with strings. Replace. Replace is a substring with another substring that needs not be of the same length. So two substrings, old and new, can be different lengths. And this operates on a copy, so the original string is unaffected. Strings are actually mutable objects, so they are never modified in place. Whenever you do modification on the strings, you are getting a, a new copy. Strip strips white space at the beginning and at the end of the string. It's useful when you are reading a file. So for instance, to strip the final view lines or any leading spaces, you apply strip. L strip strips white space only at the beginning. R strip strips white space only at the end. And strip strips both. So I would say this is the last exercise for today, and then we will give you homeworks and you will have to. So there should be this Euro CSV file on the website, which is just uh, commas. Each line is a comma-separated list of one currency name and exchange rate, and you have to read that into a dictionary. Currency names are the keys, and exchange rates are the values. Values are floats, and currency names 